everyone, welcome back. I'm Marcel, and on today's episode of Love First Bite, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite appetizers for the holidays. It's my roasted butternut squash that we got the Sage Crostini. It is so delicious, perfect for the holidays. And you know what? I attended a Friendsgiving event for HDTV Handmade, and everybody went nuts about it. So I wanna share it with you guys. Be sure to stay tuned to the end for the Friendsgiving playlist. So let's get in the kitchen and let me show you how easy it is to make. That way you can make it for all your friends and family. So let's get in there. Okay, so let's get started. I have the oven preheated at 425 degrees. I have in this bowl, I have some cut up butternut squash. They're about half inch pieces. We're gonna toss some olive oil in there. We're gonna put some salt, freshly ground pepper. I have about three teaspoons of brown sugar. Now we're gonna toss all these flavors together, just like this. And now we are gonna add this onto a sheet pan in a single layer, that way it all cooks up evenly. And we're gonna roast this off for about 15 to 20 minutes or until nice and tender and crispy. Okay, so we have the butternut squash that's roasting in the oven. We're gonna get to the next step here. We're gonna add some olive oil. And I have a little saute pan here. We're gonna throw in some chopped garlic. We have some chopped sage. And then we have some pine nuts. And we're just gonna saute this all together. Wow, the aromas in here is unbelievable. I'm gonna mix this up with the butternut squash. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil in here. This is smelling amazing. I'm gonna place this into the bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna fry up some fresh sage and that's gonna be from garnish. It's gonna look good and it's gonna be nice and crispy. So I got some olive oil here and we're just gonna put it into the pan. Don't crowd it up, just uh, a couple at a time, because it does fry up pretty quickly. Put it onto a plate that I've lined with a paper towel, just so it absorbs all the oil. Okay, so the butternut squash has been roasted off. We're gonna add it into that bowl that we have the pine nuts and the garlic and the fresh sage. This is looking amazing already. Add that all in there. I'm gonna mix all these mixtures together here, all the flavors together. All right, so we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna actually do it all crostini bread right now. Okay, so I have a nice French baguette. We're gonna cut it into half inch slices. All righty, and then we're gonna add it onto a sheet pan that's been lined with parchment paper. That way it's easy for cleanup. So we're gonna drizzle some olive oil. And we're gonna place this into an oven. Again, 425 degrees for about 10 minutes until crispy and golden brown. Okay, so while we have the crostini being toasted off, I have in the bowl some rigotta, and we are gonna add some lemon zest in there. Gives it that nice flavor. We're gonna add some freshly ground pepper and some sea salt. Mix it all in there. We're gonna set this aside. The crostini should be coming out in a couple of minutes and we're gonna get ready to assemble this. Okay, so finally, the moment you've been waiting for, we're gonna assemble the crostini. We're gonna start off by putting a tablespoon of the rigotta that has been mixed with some lemon zest and salt and pepper. I'm gonna top it off right here. Okay. Then we're gonna top that crostini with the rigotta with the butternut squash mixture. Put that right on top about a tablespoon. Oh, this is looking pretty. Then, finally, the final touch, we are gonna top it off with a delicious fried piece of sage. Got it right here, right on top. This looks outstanding. I mean, I had such a great time doing this for you guys, and I need to taste this, because the proof's in the pudding. Mm. Wow. A lot of happiness going on there. I just need a nice glass of wine to go with this. You know, it is the holidays. I love the garlic. What I really love is that sage with the pine nuts and the garlic together. And then you have the lemon rigotta, which is really refreshing. I'll tell you, no wonder everybody liked this at the party. But the best thing about it is I met such wonderful people at this Friendsgiving event. And I cannot wait to watch their videos. And I want you guys to watch the video, so be sure to stay tuned at the end where I have the Friendsgiving playlist. Now, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me some comments. 
I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Level First Bite. I'm Marcel, and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Mmm. Yeah, that's good.